All right, so what's up, everyone? This is uh, me, Jason, um, also POQ newbie. Today, I'm here to talk about my AB switch. This is for my guitar. Basically, two guitars go in to one pedal, so that way I don't have to unplug my guitar because I have a Fender Jag Sting and a Strat, and if I'm in the middle of playing, I don't want to have to unplug my guitar and plug it back in. That way, I can just pick it up turned on click the button that's guitar a guitar b guitar a guitar b that's simple well that's basically what this is um you can also the way it's made is make it one input two outputs you know but when i first made this i messed up royally and i knew i did how i messed up was um this thing takes a nine volt battery Basically, you saw me turn it on. You plug it in here. This acts as a switch. It's a stereo input. It acts as a switch. And the 9-volt battery controls these LEDs right here. You know, because it has to have 9 volts or voltage to turn on LEDs. Well, what I did is I have this switch right here. It's a double pole, double throw foot switch. You step on it, and it goes back and forth. But, um... Basically, I had my guitar signals going in along with my 9-volt battery. And so when I would switch, it was shooting out 9 volts into my pedal. And my pedal is not <laughs> made to receive 9 volts as well as guitar signals. So my pedal is going, hey, this is not working. So it made me think, what the heck is going on? So it made me... Um, uh, investigate more and this is what I learned about this switch right here all right so this is how this switch works um, you can do different things with it but for illustration purposes um, your mains go in here okay I have to tell you something what I thought when I looked at this switch was that these two were connected these two were connected and these two were connected that's not the case Basically, what this switch is, is two of these built in one. Okay? See how they're, see how they're two different ones? They're not connected at all? Well, that's how this is. And so, how this works, and I'm going to use this uh, tester to show you how it works. Um, if you don't have one of these, you should really get one. They're great. Um, but, I set it on the continuity... I don't know if you can hear it beeping. Whenever this makes, you know, contact, it beeps. It's a continuity tester. And so how this works is, I, I'm assuming there's two pieces of metal in here. And this is your common, your main. Um, and so when you click the switch, there's these two pieces of metal that touch and connect these four pieces. You know, one, you know, I guess there's two pieces of metal, you know, and one side connects these two and the other side connects these two. And when you click it again, it teeter-totters to the other side and connects this one to this one. So, for instance, I don't know which one it's on, but see, see how it's not, there's no sound? But when I click it, you hear that? That's, that means, stop that, but that means that there was connection made right there. And when I click it the other side, it does it again. You see, it makes the connection on this side. See, to illustrate the other point, what I thought was these two were grounded, or these two were connected, so when I would touch this, I thought it would beep, but it didn't. See, it's these aren't connected. So, like I said, it's two switches. So, that's how this switch works. And, um, and in making this pedal, what I did was treated this is the audio side and this is the voltage side. That way I separate it and I didn't have nine volts going into my guitar pedal messing it up. So here's the wire diagram for my um for my pedal. Um this right here is this. Okay. And so this is the nine volts, you know, coming in. Um and as you can see, the 9 volt is going into the main, to the middle pin, right, the middle lug right here. And these are my LEDs. 
Now you have to have resistors for your LEDs because if you run 9 volts to these LEDs, you'll burn them out. So you can go find a resistor calculator online to find out you know, what color your LED, what type of resistor your colored LED needs for a 9 volt battery. Um, but I got the, the power going into the middle lug and then, you know, the power going into the side lugs for this one and then the next lug for this one. And what I did was grounded it to this jack right here and I grounded the 9 volt to this jack, okay? And so that way when I click it, you know, this is the power. And so when I click the button, when I click the foot switch, when I click that, it sends the pin over and activates this light and sends power to this LED and turns it on. And when I click it again, it sends it to this other side and turns this one off because it cuts power off to it and turns this one on. Okay. And so now here's the audio portion. Uh, this is my output and these are the two inputs so these would be for my guitars and what I did was send the hot signal there and the hot signal there and this is the output and I would, it would and this is the main, middle pin and it would send it out to this lug here and what I did was grounded these all together all right so it's completely separate from this um, and so when I click the switch this these two are connected and when I click the switch again it would disconnect these and connect these two and so that's how that works now this right here I don't have a power switch to turn on and off the battery um, what I used was this stereo jack um, it's different than a mono jack of course because it's a stereo jack but you can use this as a switch to turn on your 9 volt. Um, I'm not going to explain how you can go online um, and get better explanations than what I can explain, but this is actually what turns the pedal on. See how the pedal's not on right now? If I can get it in there. I have my camera zoomed in. See how the pedal's not on? Well, if I plug it into here, nothing happens because that's a mono jack. Same way with this other side. This is this acts as my switch. See, turns it on. So instead of having a switch somewhere that I have to switch to turn off to cut the the nine volt battery from the LEDs, I just use this. So these things are awesome. I would get a lot of these. Now I got all my parts from a website called Tada. It's out of China, I think, but um. It's a really great website to get your parts cheap. I think I probably have two dollars in part. Well, I take that back. This switch was probably a dollar fifty, but I probably have about three dollars, three and a half dollars worth of parts um, for this. Uh, and so, I would advise getting your wish list up first when you go to Tada because I always order something from them. And it takes like a week and a half to two weeks to get here. And then after I place that order, two days later, I'm like, oh man, I should have got this other thing. So it's best to get your wish list up first. Get everything you possibly think you can need. And then buy it all in bulk at one time. So that way you're not waiting. But um, that's it. That's the wiring diagram. That's how I wired my AB switch. It's really simple. Um, if a noob like me can do it, you can do it. Um, I hope I didn't confuse you with this switch, uh, but it really confused me and messed me up until I figured out <laughs> how it works. So, um, uh, good luck. I hope I hope you can build this. It's it's real simple. It's cheaper than going out and buying one, um, and it's also a learning experience. And we can always uh, we can always learn something. Um, so uh, leave your comments if you have any questions. Uh, maybe I can answer them. Um, but the internet is full of answers if you have any questions. But you can always comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, I'm probably going to come out with more videos. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I hope all goes well. And yeah, let me know what you think. Bye. In mind, I often make a journey. Two dads, old farm back.
in the hill where mom